to the program. You know, there is a whole bunch of psychology that goes into the creation of magazine covers. You've got the images, you've got the cover lines, and uh, you name it, I guess the editors have thought of it. Well, today the Maggie Award winners have been announced. Ida Buttrose, Paula Joy, join us to uh, tell us what it's all about. Good morning, Ida. Good morning, Paula. Good morning, Pam. Maggie Awards, what, what are they? How do they they're, work? They're awards to find the best cover uh, in, in magazine publishing in Australia. They're uh, an initiative of the uh, online subscription company I subscribe. And uh, this is their second year. So who gets to vote? Because I know you're the chair of the board, you were on the voting judge, panel. Yes. Who gets to vote? It's uh, the, the, the overall is put to the public, mm -hmm. but we shortlist it. Yeah, we panel short, was chaired the, by the judges shortlist them, and then the, our shortlist is put out there, and the public vote Online. decide what they like. Is yes. this just a cheap way of research? <laughs> well, we're not we're not researching. I mean, that's our subscribe is. To, yeah. but to, to make magazines more popular. Uh, no, I, I think it's to encourage. Um, it's really to encourage magazine, uh, the magazine industry, to strive a little harder, do their mm -hmm. best, think yeah. about what they put on their cover, and it gives us an opportunity in some instances to make comments. Okay, uh, the winners. Now, the the winner. I was fascinated that uh, um, Woman's Day could yeah. be the winner with a beautiful image mm. of Elizabeth Taylor in her youth. And, and, uh, and you're the experts, Paula. Why do you think the public and you guys? voted this as the best. I mean, this is an incredible shot, number one. It's an incredible shot, but it was very different for that masthead. It was very unexpected What's for that masthead. masthead. For, for Women's Day. You know, Women's Day's usually got the paparazzi, the insets, lots of cover lines. So this was very restrained for them, a risk for them. So not only were they going with a retro shot, but a full bleed shot. Um, and it was a real punt, and it paid off. And, and very few cover lines. So really, it was a classic example of how a, a simple cover with impact can work. And mm -hmm. and it's it's something that all magazine editors and uh, graphic designers should look at because my view is that today's covers have too many cover lines, and the images are not quite strong enough sometimes that they stick on the cover. But Woman's Day shows that if you, simple, simple, great shot, simple cover lines. It promised a bit. The cover line said. Um, you know, pictures you've never seen before, and it said uh, Australian link with her, uh, and a link with Australian nanny. So it's saying, hey, and there's a bit more in here. You've got to pick us up. We're going to tell you something about Elizabeth Taylor you didn't know. And um, they also timed it beautifully. They pushed it through, and they got it out, and uh, and, it, and it was, you know, it was timely. And, and so it's fantastic. not only one, but it's sold. That, I mean, that's yeah, the yeah, it's a great, yes. it's, a, it's a great cover, and okay. it deserved to do well. Yeah. What was then next under? What came in number two? Well, I think it was Donna Hay, wasn't it? Uh, well, no particular thing. Harper's Bazaar came mm -hmm. in. Harper's uh, that was for um, um, fashion and, and beauty and fashion. Country, yeah. mm -hmm. And then the Women's Weekly was lifestyle with a with a. Now here's the Harper's Bazaar. Uh, now this is this is a really interesting cover. Why did you like this? Um, I think what you can't see on screen is that the it's gold foil. Mm. So it was black and white with gold foil imaging on it. Um, this did very well with readers, didn't it? It really resonated with readers. Yes. It won the vote with the readers. Um, Kate Blanchett's intriguing. I think that people are, are very interested in her. She's an interesting person. It's a pa what I would call a passive shot, and often passive shots don't work, but there's something about this that's a little bit whimsical, a little bit mysterious. Yeah, I, I must say I didn't like that cover very much, but, you know, the readers did. Um, Donna Hay. She's consistently a good performer. I love that and this cover. Is the lifestyle food, and food, food and wine. Food and wine. I love that. You can lick that cover. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that works because you just want to pick one of them up and eat it. The colour. I'm, I'm sort of zeroing in on the Fast 50. What's a Fast 50? Uh, fast it's 50 some dinners. I'm... Fast 50 dinners. Oh, okay. Yeah, so great. it's 50 great easy dinners. Um, uh, okay, as you know, we're just pundits. We just go along and buy our mags. Um, you're the export, but experts. So what do you think we want? Oh, look, if we all knew the answer to that one, we'd do it every week and every month. I mean, sometimes we get it right, so sometimes what we don't so get what it are the right. Clear strong image, a strong image always works. Okay, what about this one? This is the, oh, well, these, just generally. What what have been the ones that worked and what have been the dogs? Well, the dogs are usually ones that where the image, we haven't got a good strong cover image and perhaps the, the, the use of the cover lines have been overdone. You know, there's, you, give me an example. Well, oh, well, when you say overdone, it's too many cover lines, you know, and it, it, it's indicative of, of a marketplace that's trying to find itself. So they, so the art director of the editor thinks, well, we put, we put lots of cover lines on. One of them might appeal, and pe people will pick it up. 
really you should just be pushing four or five stories. You know, your magazine should be strong enough for you to be pushing four or five stories and you should tap those cover lines up and you've really got to work on them. They're not something you just do like that. You've got to make them work. They've oh, got they're to be a couple of days and punchy. Yeah, yeah, you've really got to work on cover lines. I, my overall view of, the, of, the, of this particular contest this year was that there is a great improvement to be made in cover lines by all entrants. Mm -hmm. Because I know um, cover lines, if you want to use that in terms of newspapers, there's been some crackers yeah, out there, yeah. and they can be naughty and funny. Mm -hmm. Is that the sort of yeah. thing editors go I, for? I mean, I think, I, I certainly, when I edited Cleo, for instance, I was still able to say things that you're not able to say now. I don't, part of it's censorship, and part of it is that we just... I sort of think, just did I it. I don't think it's censorship. I think it's, you know, editors need a freer hand. And mm. I think too many edit magazines are run by committees. And magazines yeah. can't be run by committees. They can only really be one run by the editor. Yeah. And so I think that, you know, cover lines should be, that's 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 all you've got. That's yeah. your real estate. So I think you should be allowed to, to go crazy on your cover Because everything lines. you're trying to do with your cover is grab your attention. So if we, if we don't grab your attention <laughs> with the image, we've got to have a cover line there that's going to make you think, oh, what are that's about? I, I've got, it's like you said, I'm looking at those that's 50. 50 What's that 50? I want to know what yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah. 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 You've got to have Hook. stop the cab. Yeah. That's what you want. Yeah. You need to be stop the cab. I need that. It's called entertaining. Mm. Yes, mm. that's it. You know, that's <laughs> the one. I'd love to see you again, too. Welcome back. And thank you. Congratulations on I'm sure it was a bit of hard work putting all that together. Well, thank you. Morning.